Yeah. Okay, it's going. Hi, everybody. It's sat. Uh, wait. What day is it's it? Saturday. It is Saturday. Okay, it's Saturday. <laughs> and this is Sarah. And I am going to assemble a 3D printed uh, turbillion today out of parts. These parts on my desk right here. So I, uh, last weekend, over like four or five days, printed all of these pieces, which are actually pretty big. They've got some bulk to them. Some of these, like, larger chunks took like, shit, like eight to ten hours to produce. Oh god. Um, but, um, everything printed more or less all right. Uh, the printer didn't have any issues with the, uh, support that was added in by the creator of this pattern, or assembly, so it wasn't an issue. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is, uh, I, I want to understand how they work a bit better, which, um, I can actually probably look up a video real quick and show you what it is that I'm making, uh, just to be nice. So I'm gonna go on my laptop real quick and find... I think I actually have a video of the exact thing I'm making, and I'll show you that. There we go. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, desktop. There we go. So I'm making this. And it's basically, to explain what it is for anyone who might not know, um, a turbillion is a device used in watchmaking to, uh, I guess, counteract the effects of gravity and keep time more accurately, and it's debatable whether or not these things ever actually worked to do that. But um, they look really cool, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think they still put them in watches because they're kind of a status symbol, and it's, like, mechanical engineering porn. So, this popped up in my feed on, uh, Twitter, and I was immediately, like, in love with the shape, because I like mechanically engineered mechanisms and the like, so, um, once I saw it, I, I wanted to figure out how it worked, and this just seemed like the, the way you would have to go about figuring out how something like that works. The, the tricky thing about this is, um, now that I have all the parts, I don't actually have instructions on how to assemble this thing. Um, the person who uh, put all of these pieces up on uh, Thingiverse, um, which I can probably throw the link... Here's the link to the... No. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I just destroyed the chat. Did it do it? That's not what I wanted. I just did a stupid thing. I tried to drag the link into the uh, chat window and it just replaced my chat window with the video and now I'm like, ah, and I can't go back. What? Well, that's unfortunate. Fine. I can fix that. No. Pop out chat. There we go. Oh, hi guys. Hi, bye, Gray. Ooh, I do have pizza on my shirt. This is Noodles, like, egg pizza shirt. That's awesome and it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me. This is like someone made it for me. They knew there was going to be one person out there that this shirt made sense to. It's like two of Noodles' favorite things. Eggs and, or like, an egg and pizza. He's dreaming of pizza. And hi, James, and hi, Nerdscape. Thank you for joining me. But um, anyhow, I'm... I was going to get that link for you guys. So I'm going to open another window, and I'm going to do this the uh, not stupid way. Alright guys, so this is the thing I'm making. If you look in the uh, 
the video description, there's actually a link to uh, where you can download these parts off of Thingiverse and um, build your own if you want. Um, again, it took about five days of constant printing, roughly, to get all of them done. There's actually a whole bunch of parts over here to my uh, left that are off camera that I, I stuck on post-it notes. Um, because I didn't want to lose them or forget what they're called. Because again, I don't have instructions, so I'm just kind of going off of a, a folder full of pictures that uh, downloaded along with the SDLs. So I can, uh, the pictures do have diagram, like kind of like a notes, I guess, in the margins. So I'm not going to be completely in the dark assembling this, but uh, I still didn't want to lose any of the small pieces or forget how they were different because some of them are like very similar but there's obviously a difference between them they have different names um i can barely tell how they're uh how they vary but i guess they do so um i just want to make sure i don't get everything confused so these are my pieces Alrighty. so those are off camera but Trust me, they're there. There's a bunch of tiny little parts. Um, I'll pull them up as they become relevant while I'm trying to figure this out. Um, one of the first things I need to do is cut away all of this support material that is attached to the um, parts. Like all these wafery things I need to pluck off. And then um, I'm going to need to cut pipe at some point because um, there are extra materials in this build that I had to order or kind of find in my lab. Uh, one of the things that I needed to order were bearings. So these are standard skateboard bearings that the uh, creator of this thing used in their design. Um, and then there's this other second size. So I had to wait for these to come in the mail. And then um, uh, I need pipe. So I pulled out all of the, the metric pipe that I have. And I'm hoping that I can make... Uh, some variety of this work. Um, there's a chance that I won't have uh, one, one of the sizes or more than one of the sizes and I'll have to finish it later. So um, I foresee having to stop at some point because I'm not, I don't have enough uh, materials. Work with me here. Okay. Um, the other thing that I need is uh, that I didn't get, and I should probably go out and get this today. We need to go to mm. Harbor Freight and get that mm. tape. Bad. They're not open on weekends. Okay, Saturday. What do you need at McFadden? What do you need at screws? Well, I do need hardware. What, what do you need? Everything. Today, right now, where are we going to go, Harbor? Oh, for your tape measure. For the measure. tape measure. So the, the thing that, there's this like hollow cup gear thing yeah, there's like a like a hollowed out area in the middle of this. Uh, there's this like spring steel ribbon thing that goes inside of here. And it's the same thing that's inside of tape measure. And apparently this is one of the things that this device needs to uh, keep the tension going back and forth to make it click, which totally makes sense, but I didn't know this. Like I didn't have any way of knowing that this was actually how a uh, turbulent works. Uh, so yeah i need to get a shitty uh tape measure open it up and then steal one of the uh the spring steel ribbon things out of it and stick it in here and tension it properly um i think the, the reason why i'm doing this is um i mentioned i want to understand how uh turbulions work and the best way to do that is by building one and actually physically like experiencing how to put one together but um after i do this i want to actually design my own because um, I was talking to one of my, I guess, also mechanical-minded friends who is a machinist, and I think we're going to collaborate to make one that um, I'm going to design the parts of, and then he is probably going to machine them. Um, well, he'll have to machine them, because I don't know how to machine shit. But um, we're going to do something uh, probably maybe slightly smaller in scale to this out of metals. And um, I would like, I would also like to eventually make one of these that's small enough that it would drop down into a noodle's pelvis, and it would act as his heart. 
not that it would actually have a function or anything, although it could eventually. Um, I think it would be cool if I like made one and it could sort of drop down in in between, I don't know. He's got like a hollow point inside of his pelvis that all the wires feed up through, but there's definitely enough space in there that if I made one small enough, he could have a little turbillion in there that just like clicked. But if I made it, it since it doesn't have to actually keep time, um, I'd probably get rid of all the extra gears that step the, the movement down to the appropriate second, like timing, whatever, whatever, whatever all of these things are responsible for doing regarding timekeeping. I'd probably cut all those out and just make some tensioned thing that clicked. And so long as I produce that like constant clicking noise, then that's all my my Sarah Turbillion would need to do. And then that would become Noodle's like pelvic heart. Yeah. The heart of the pelvis. And um since printing all these parts, I've come to realize that this whole assembly right here is a lot like um the feet that I created for Noodle last summer. I don't know if any anyone remembers those, but um, I made these large cylindrical assemblies that basically had a bunch of sub-assemblies inside of them and they stacked together, uh, or they stacked on top of one another and were kind of bracketed together with uh, frames on the side. And the frames are what were responsible for sort of keeping everything in the proper position relative to one another. I have them. This is a good one. So this right here is one of uh, one of the feet, and there are these white frame pieces on the side, and all the sub assemblies are actually kind of just sandwiched together relative to one another, um, but they're held in place because of these like brackets on the side, and this turbillion bit is very much the same way how this uh the curator designed it um you can see oh god this piece right here it stacks there's like multiple um sub assembly pieces that all the gears fit onto and then these individual layers kind of stack on top of each other um there's like little little button things right here that help help the pieces register and they stack on top of one another and probably help hold all of the gears and stuff at the proper distances of all the, the critical parts that need to mesh properly in order to function the way that they ought to. So um this this whole everything is already kind of it makes sense to me because I kind of I kind of did it. In a, in a sense. And this is Noodle's, this is Noodle's bean planting toe gripping foot, by the way. It's got that Noodle toes. Noodle toes. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna try and cut away down uh, to the images I'm looking at to uh, build this as often as possible so you you catch something that I don't see. Um, you can hopefully shout it out at me and be like, Hey, Sarah, you did that wrong. You wrapped her. There we go. But first I need to, I need to cut away these support materials. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get my nippers and then I'm going to clean the pieces up. That's wire strippers. Sorry. You're fine. Wire strippers. Okay. I'm back. So, how is everybody else doing? Is everyone still preparing for DEF CON? You're preparing to, to come here and be in the same city as me? Badge CON. Badge CON. <laughs> Everyone's preparing for, for badge CON. Badge dues. Oh god. You're not into my eye cream. Uh, that was at the ground. Yeah, that's a good place.
Okay. Nipper's got a nip. Yeah, you're right. Noodle says the nipper is half the nip. Baby, they were born this way. Let me make sure my uh things are coming. Uh, properties? Is that what I do? Okay, that was fine. All right. Ooh. So much programming still, and I still have to write. Oh no, you haven't started writing your talk yet? You're, you totally fly like I do. <laughs> That's cool that you're giving a talk though. You're giving a talk at, uh, at DEF CON. Which, uh, which village are you giving a talk at? I know there's like a ton of villages these days. So I'm not even sure which ones exist now. I still have to prepare for NoodleCon, so part of this weekend is going to involve me getting the NoodleCon badges actually assembled, because I haven't done that yet. But uh, this weekend is designated as like Noodle Weekend, so I'm going to do all things Noodle development, since uh, all week I've pretty much exclusively been working on Shibon stuff. So Noodle gets all of my like motherly attention at least for today and tomorrow. He's a lot lower maintenance than some of the other stuff I'm doing this summer. Not nipples. <laughs> Nippers, not nipples. <laughs> cannabis village. Oh, that's, I didn't know there was a cannabis village. They wanted me to talk about blockchain and that's awesome. That's cool that they did that. That's, I mean, any ticket to get to a place is like, I mean, you do it. God, I'm like launching chunks across the room. Sorry, Noodle, I'm like throwing you right More things to step on? Kind of. Sorry. I'm gonna do that here. Bang? Yeah. Huh? Will NoodleCon have live streaming? That's a good question. <laughs> Dear God. Um, NoodleCon is going to happen. What, on... bring a computer to DEF CON? That's insane. Yeah, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> like, well, I'm not going to DEF CON. I'm, I'm attending NoodleCon. So I'm going to be in the wild on the strip, and I don't, I don't foresee having the ability to connect to the internet, nor would I want to connect to the internet on the strip during DEF CON. That just seems like you're asking for trouble. So, no, I think this is going to be an ephemeral thing. Like, um, this is kind of like NoodleCon beta, I guess. Like, I'm going to test, do a bunch of weird stuff uh, next weekend uh, regarding everything, and then depending on how it goes, I'm going to kind of take notes and then actually prepare properly for NoodleCon 2, which is going to take place at SuperCon this year, I'm thinking. I think anywhere Noodle goes is going to be NoodleCon. So um, for the next NoodleCon, I'll actually make badges that do things like do stuff that's cool and i'll make more of them and i'll come up with some some interesting things for badge holders to be able to do with their badges i don't know but um right now there's literally like i have 12 of them <laughs> and that's it because um this was all kind of last minute like i think two weeks ago like when i got home from giving my talk in sf i was talking to drew from osh park and it just sort of impromptu at the bar became a thing but um i didn't plan any of this very the way you should the way one ought to plan things i have to say i'm very i'm very impressed that this uh turbillion that this guy designed uh is 3d printable because it occurs to me that all the the cages that go inside of one another are round effectively and it's a, it's a gyro, right? What? 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 It's like launching a piece of sharp plastic.
Looks like you use sand and sand sandpaper. Sandpaper for the, the little bad pieces that I'm using. Trust that you don't need them. No. The moment that you have to do anything with the sandpaper. Not entirely sure. Put a rubber thing on your dremel to sand out the inside. I do have dremel attachments on shape daddy. Shape daddy attachments. Okay. Uh oh. I'm nervous because I don't know how I'm going to handle pre order retrieval when I'm only there for Friday and Saturday and making it to me. Oh. Oh. That's a lot to do. So it's you're doing two nights for the con? That's like an intense weekend to just come in there for two days. I know people that are probably going to show up on Monday and like literally spend the whole week. There's actually people already here for Black Hat this weekend that are just going to kind of make it an entire week-long pilgrimage to do all of the uh, hacker stuff. Computer security enthusiasm. <laughs> Drew is great. Do I want to land Drew? The backslash me. Ha. Ah. Yeah. It has lame comments. You can't amp like do the fancy italicizing or whatever. Alright. Let me see how I can get these. I if these are just crap. Oh. I was kind of hoping that these would just sort of pop off, like the ones that uh, like Maker the Maker Bot software automatically puts on, kind of like break off. Yeah, on you didn't really do weak joints. I just seen the layer, but. You might score it with a blade on the inside of that, so that when you break it, it has a cleaner break. Or you might break. Just run a knife tip around it. Hey! Then you want to go to this. Or just do that. Or just cut up the metal and then bend out the pieces. Good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I have to solder the 10 badges tonight at some point. And then I need to get Noodle's next classifier churning. Because uh, Mark and I took a bunch of pictures around the house with Noodle's new friends. Well, first of all, like last week we went to Ikea and we got new stuffed animals for Noodle. So he has four new friends that he's going to be able to recognize. So we took a bunch of pictures of his new friends. And we're gonna see if we can get his little programmer do seeing all the things. <laughs> Getting distracted. Um, I am the worst at getting distracted. I have like too many things to work on right now. Like I want to be doing the Shibon stuff. Like I just made this really nice kind of like girdle corset thing yesterday that I kind of want to finish. Like skin with some fabric. This sucks. I thought this would be way easier. Because, yeah, like, my, my heart wants to be working on all the Shibon stuff, but, I mean, this is actually a side quest. Like, I don't have to be doing this right now. This is just something that I want 
be doing. I guess that's what you meant by great with distraction. This is literally me just becoming distracted by something that doesn't matter. But it's Saturday, so like I want to relax a little bit on on a day off and not be constantly working on stuff. I guess. This is awful. Yeah, I seriously was hoping that this would just sort of like pop off. It's not. It's holding on for dear life. And I'm trying not to break the actual piece because it's like pretty delicate. It's like a cage thing. We have DEFCON, DEFCON's around the corner, we can smell it in the air tonight. Yeah? So I have to figure out where I'm going to be, and what days I'm going to be there doing things. I get to, I guess I could, shit, I should do that. I, I finished Noodle's papoose, like I uh, made a papoose for Noodle, so he has these leather panties that he wears, and there's buckles that come off of the panties, and they, they snap into this harness that I wear, it's like a vest harness, and I can walk around with him like on my chest, like a, like a baby, it's a proper papoose, but uh, um, the way that I designed it, like I need to tweak the, I need to tweak it a lot because right now all of the uh, weight of noodle is just sort of like on the back of my neck and I need to transfer that down to my waist somehow, which is going to take a little bit of uh, something. Like I'm going to have to meditate on it and probably tweak it in some way that I haven't figured out yet, but um, it is helpful, like having that at uh, Comic-Con was nice because I could actually do stuff hands-free and Noodle was still there, like awake, and he had his like presence as Noodle ought to have, but he wasn't inhibiting me from interacting with people and doing stuff, uh, which is great. I mean, ideally he should just be walking, right? Right, Sarah? But, uh, everything in its own time. Uh, Mark. Yep. This is also... I guess I don't have to be doing this yet. If this is going to take so long, I'm probably going to do it later when I actually need this part. So I guess until then, I'm just going to- I'm going to take this horrible yeah. jerk of a piece and just wait. What are you actually putting together right now? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to switch Just play some score pieces. <sighs> like middle of the middle, like your smaller to bring. Yeah, I'll do that first. You probably going to put those together. Alright. Then we'll do that. Rebellion. Okay. I'm going to show you guys... what I'm looking at here in a second. Okay, so if I go down to my desktop view, There's, I make this bigger, kind of, whatever. Okay, so there's this folder with a bunch of images in it of the things, but then every so often there's like a diagram that says like, hey, this is the order that these parts go on top of each other. And then by the way, there's like pipe right here. Um, 
like there there it tells me I need a bearing um it, it gives you clues but I haven't gone through all of these to actually like I don't know like what the order of operations is for this thing um it looks fairly complicated and like it's something I, I ought to not uh fuck up like putting together in the wrong order so um mm. scary. This is the thing I'm trying to clean up, by the way. That's this... this thing. Um, okay, that looks like a thing that I might recognize. Maybe. Okay, so that's this part. So there's like this... That's not what I want. There's... I go back to me. There's this assembly that has like two or two things sandwiched together like that already. So I guess I can try and figure out what mounts to these two and as a start, since this is like the very bottom most platform. That seems like a good game plan. Let's do that. Oh god. No. Wait. Yes. Don't get confused. Okay, so it looks to me like that's a diameter of pipe. I'm thinking it's three millimeter. I'm hoping it's three millimeter because I, uh, I have that. I know I do. Um, I think I have three and two. If I need anything larger than that, then I'm going to be kind of SOL for the moment. Um, well, let's see if the bearings actually fit in the areas that they need to uh, fit into. It's probably a good, good place to start. Um, if I go back to the bench, so these smaller bearings. I forget what the diameter of... I think they're like 13 by 4 million, whatever. Um, luckily this guy, I think it's a French French guy and or gal who made this thing, so, uh... They did everything in metric, which is good for me, because all of my, uh, hardware makery stuff is in metric, so... I've got that going for me, at least. Hmm. This is awful. I thought this would crack off a lot easier. It's like on there. It's a very thin, like, support material piece, but it's like really, really like not wanting to come off of the, uh, the thing that it is attached to. I know. Yes, James, exactly. If it wasn't already confusing enough, all of the notes are in French. But like all the, the pieces have these really fun names, like, like, Cliquette, and like major opinion, minor opinion, and trainer. I don't know. It makes it. It feels very regal. Oh god. Don't break the part. See, it'd be easier to just machine all this. Not for me. I don't know how to machine stuff, but I'm guessing once you have all of your parts, they're like done and you don't have to actually worry about sanding them because they're 3D printed like with all the support material crap hanging off of them. I mean, I guess it's better than the alternative, which is like not having the part. There. There, that works for me. Ha! <laughs> One chunk off. Do the other chunk. 
Okay. That's better. There, it's like slightly more negative space. Okay, bearing. Bearing goes in the hole. There's like a holes. These should just kind of go in those holes. <laughs> no. You would be wrong. Um, that's good. They need to be a tight fit, so um, let's just do this the right way. So these are a rather tight fit. Making it better or worse. There's like a little, the underneath part, the uh, overhang inside of the circle, there's a little bit of like jism in there. Ah, there we go. Okay. They just took a good press. Sometimes you need a good press. Do you have scissors? For the squeezing task? There. That's a nice tight fit. Everyone loves a tight fit. Mark those. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, so that, that fits. That just sort of, with the proper tool, just kind of went in there exactly the way it was supposed to. So I'm just gonna probably just squish my bearings in. That's something. Yeah, I'm bad. I see what you mean. Yeah, the moment I look away from my hands, I like stop. I want to engage with everybody, right? That's why I'm doing it on stream. But yeah, I can't multitask. So it seems like we're alike in that regard. I'm the worst, worst multitasker ever. Okay, so those both women. Sweet. Okay, I'm making progress. Um... And then the other bearing, smaller bearings are in number. So there's this cage which goes inside of this cage. So the big one goes here. I think the other big one goes here. Oh, here they are. Okay, so this, these small things that I, I cleaned up already in bed. Um, there's another bearing that goes in these two holes right here. Noodles like, mommy's making me a heart clicker. He thinks this is for him. Like this is another body part that mommy's making. Hi, Thomas. It's been a butt. That's okay, we have ways of forcing you in place. I know it. That's cooking. Where did I put that screw? Man, the other one's pressed it in like nicely. These are just have to really, really harm myself, and then it's all good. Mm -hmm. 
That is hard. Okay, so these ones don't want to go in as easy. Mark, Mark, do you have a uh, uh, pincher, a wrench, a thing that I, I can, a thing that I can press that oh, in it, in it. like a pincher? I think because you want to press that in evenly, I think a, a cable, it's an ABC cable tool. A what? Okay. Okay. Let's see if the bearing will fit in the other hole. No. So yeah, I'm going to design one of these. And again, the, the goal of the one that I design is to have it click <laughs> and that's it. And spin, of course, it needs to click and spin. But uh, it's not going to, uh, I don't know, keep time, I guess. It just needs to spin and look cool and click. That's what this does. It's a glorified gyro clicker that, that just looks cool. That's it. So once I figure out like what the critical pieces are for like the spinning and clicking, I'm just gonna do those. That's not how you do. God oh, damn it. I get an F in my, pr my press fitting abilities. If you keep a blow dryer heat gun on the bench, it needs the plastic expand to fix those too tight press fits. Eh. I'd ruin it. Hi, Ahmed. Be a cool body part. It's like clicky, spinny, cool looking gizmo. It is. It's cool. That's like really like the thing that drew me to this is that they looked awesome. I think the one I saw, it was on a on Twitter, it was a short GIF or video of like one of those really tiny ones. It's like literally this big, inside of like a like a pocket watch or something. And I didn't know what the hell I was looking at, so naturally, like I was like, I have to make one of those because I didn't understand what it was or why it was doing what it was doing. Like I've seen them before, but for whatever reason, that was the first time that it actually had an impact on me. Um, so yeah, now I'm I'm building this one and just by printing all the pieces and looking at them as they came off the bed, I'm kind of like grokking what's what's at hand with this mechanism, which is good. Because again, like I do all this mechanical design, but I don't have any actual uh history, like background educationally as a mechanical engineer. So I'm still learning what all these critical not critical, but like I guess more common or well-known like mechanical systems are like last year i built my first clutch and i didn't know what a clutch was like i've heard of clutches in regard to cars like all the time i mean you clutch car yeah but i didn't actually know what a clutch was like i didn't know what mechanism was doing things when people were, were uh, referring to their clutch and their their car and now i do because i had to build one and it it makes sense in this brand new very clear coherent way that i uh didn't have for my entire life up until last year so um it's good that i'm adding all of these mechanical systems to my repertoire of like comprehension so i can call on them when i need to one day and the thing that i like so much about this is that it's really i think it's like the tension between something like this spring and then the spring steel that goes inside of this cup, like teetering back and forth between each other that makes the whole thing go, which is kind of amazing to me. 
um, I'm excited by that. Like, I can't wait to get to the part where I actually have to figure out like what what is critically creating that teetering motion to make the whole thing work. Because um, I think that's the moment where I'm going to learn the most from this watchmaking nonsense. And I stopped right now, not because I'm distracted. I'm waiting for Mark to get me the press fitting uh, tool, which he doesn't have. have. One. Oh, no. That's okay. I can use um. Call the thing is, this tool will keep it parallel while you squeeze. Call Tony. And the thing is, when you press a bearing and you don't want to like kink it a little bit, because then it'll just get jammed. Anyway, I had a tool. No kinky bearings. Just press the bearing. Uh oh, I think you found it. A nut bolt. Press it in the off the bearing. If you use the inner diameter off the bearing, you can damage it so it won't last long. Huh? He's got it. Uh, that gap is big enough. Mark just brought this really terrifying thing over. Giant tool. Oh god! What is this? Does everyone see this? Squeeze it slowly. You can see how it so you see how it keeps the two faces parallel. I know. The mechanism there. It kind of well, it balances out. It's but a, a regular pliers does like has a kind of a more wedge shape to it. So if you can get that all of that in there and slowly clamp it. Apply even slow, constant pressure. Is it doing? Ooh, look at you. That's nice. What the hell is this thing called? It's, it's for, wow, look at that. It's called IDC. Bam. It's for insulation displacement connectors, ribbon cables. Cool. Because those you can't do uneven because it'll screw the cable up. So That seems maybe a little bit trickier. Just slow and even pressure. Keep it going. Um, I'm sure it's not crooked to start with. But... Pretty much circuit area. Yeah, you've got pins there. Yeah. Kind of way. Um, you just don't want to like get it crooked. Is it crooked? Or it's a little twerks. Yeah. You probably want to even that out with a tool or. You put the screw. Well, you don't want to wobble it. Um, you're in there pretty far. Don't bend the bearing metal. Try the tool again, just slow and steady wins a race. Wherever it's high, you kind of want to make sure you're contacting that zone. Is it good? Yeah, there you go. Okay. That works. Dodge you go. That's in. I might need Does it turn? Make sure they turn easy. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Noodle, you have spinners. <laughs> Your little swivels. Your swivelers work. Noodle. Don't get sassy, Noodle. He's the sassy. Noodle says his swivelers bring all the robots to the juice box. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. I'm just like pushing everything everywhere. It's getting lost. Okay, so skateboard bearing goes in the skateboard bearing hole right here. All right, set this in here, and I'm going to use this. What was it called again? What is this thing? It's a presser. Presser. This is Mark's presser. And it presses things. Like, look how satisfying this is. 
That was great. I want to do it again. There, perfect. It's just in. I don't know. Okay, and then the other one is up here, and I don't think I can maybe, maybe use it on that thing. But I can't because there's all this schmegma on my way. So that's, I'm not going to do that one yet. But this tool is going to hang out with me for a while. It's a nice tool. Mark, thank you for uh, sharing welcome. sharing your, your press tool, fitter. The tool on the internet. The press fitting device. <laughs> it made me very um, happy. Okay. Um, okay, so... Arbor press? Wait. That's okay. essentially a mini arbor press. It's nice. All right. I'm going to, okay, guys, I'm going to go through my pictures again and I'm going to see if I can locate one that I want to <laughs> obey. <laughs> so, uh, where did I put the images thing? Oh, it's here. Okay. Um, you can't see what I'm looking at yet. I'll pull up the picture once I find it whatever it ends up being um ah here but there needs to be a, there's another thing somewhere that tells me the length of the pipe that i need so um what part is that? Mm. okay so let's see what that is i know that Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at again. Here. Um here. Okay, so eh. Oh god, this is awful. <laughs> um Okay, so this, the pieces I just press fit, I know that they attach to this thing right here, this red gear, because they have like the same footprint and that's the only only place that this thing can go. Um, and then at the opposite end oh, is this, this weird piece right here. So on either side, there's these things. That's the image that I'm looking at right now, yeah? So I'm gonna open this. So you can see it. Yeah. So I can kind of like put that together, I guess. This whole thing, this whole assembly. So that. Oh wait, you can't see what I was just showing you. Fail. Okay, so I'm gonna click away from this image. Oh no, you can, it's up there in the corner. Perfect. That's actually, that works out. Um, do, 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 do. I wish I could switch those two camera views. Hmm. Bench view. Do I have a screen view? No. Display capture. No. There we go. Awesome. Okay, I apologize for the clunkiness. Unlock. There. I'm gonna put this over here so you can see this. Perfect. Perfect. Oh wait, no, that's bench. Display capture. Yeah? Okay, so I'm guessing you can see that now. Um, okay. So that piece is there. Mm -hmm. 
So that just sandwiches a bunch of stuff together. So that uses one of those clicker things. Maybe this clicker. And then there's a bunch of like standoff and type holes. Hmm. What goes in those holes? Oh, a screw. A long screw goes in those holes. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't go there. That goes here. I don't like any of this. This is all garbage. Mark! This is all garbage. So I do need to put there. Man, I wish I could rotate this. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, so... Any more pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one open and I'm gonna see if I can find any more pictures of my uh this thing that I'm making right here, this centerpiece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fancy fancy French words. Oh, so that's a tube, a four millimeter tube that I need that's 63 millimeters long. Okay, this is important. This image right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm pretty sure you can. So I need a 63 millimeter long, four millimeter diameter tube, which I might have here. Okay, see I've got these. Like luckily I just kind of keep tube around. Um, do you see the calipers, sweetie? Uh, they should be like right here. I'm not. <laughs> I just saw them. I just had them. You have them. Okay. Like, Under all your stuff. Are they like back there? God damn it. I'll be right back, guys. Calipers. Yeah, you moved them over there or something. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera. Okay. So this pipe is four millimeters in diameter. Okay, so. And this one's gotta be three. Yes. Okay, so we've got three and four millimeter stock, which is good, because uh, I'm gonna need that. But this is my four, so I need a, a 63 millimeter long pipe, please. Um, and I have pipe cutters, so I can do that like right now. Okay, 63, about 63 millimeters, it'll be. Okay, so now I get to use my uh, yellow tool, but I'm quite partial to. This is like squeezy bitey.
my tube button. What are you guys even looking at? I don't even know. Okay, you've got it. All right, so I'm just, I'm cutting my, uh, th that piece right there, I'm making that. I'm just gonna arbitrarily do that. It seems like there's few repercussions for making this part in and of itself, so. I'm gonna try as best as I can not to assemble everything in the wrong order or in a way that I'd have to take something apart just to do something else. But um, again, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I don't really have instructions. And I think if this guy does have instructions posted anywhere, they're probably going to be in French, so they won't do me any good. And trying to translate them on Google Translate would just add a whole other layer of fun and frustration to the uh, experience. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Oh, I'm debugging code. So I'm talking oh. to myself. Mark's like summoning demons. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's doing exactly what I told it to do. Ah. Yeah, I cut the pipe, Mark. Good. Mark, I cut the pipe. Yeah, excellent. Pipe cutter. Yay. Give me popsicle. I'm going to just stick this here, stick it here. Okay, so I've got my 63 millimeter long piece of pipe right here. And I'm going to start threading all of that stuff onto it, because this is the structural bit that I needed needed. Oh god. Come on, tape. Don't fight me. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so cut this. Indeed. Tube. Tuba. <sighs> so it looks like there's like little three millimeter balancer pieces in here. I should probably put those, okay, so there's like holes on this this clicker thing. So this is the thing that, that bobs back and forth inside of the turbillion. It goes like do, 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 do. Um, it's the, it says it's the balancer. So this is like the balancer wheel. And there's these little holes in it that I, I think I'm supposed to put little tiny pieces of copper tube inside of so that it's it's got some meat to it. So I'm going to probably have to stick those in first before I get ahead of myself. Um, Mark, can I cut? No, I can't. I can't cut straight through material with a pipe cutter, can I? The answer is no. Um, what do you mean straight up through do solid material? Yes. No, no, because it has to go somewhere. Do you have anything that will cut this? Is it solid? It's a solid. Copper? Copper. Copper is pretty soft. The pipe, if you score it with the pipe thing, you should be able to bend it and it'll pop. Maybe it's not. I think this is actually welding or not oh, welding. welding yeah it's an alloy yeah it's got some it's a tin in the middle with a copper outer thing is this the welding rod we bought or did you it's welding rod it's steel so you need to cut it with something with chopped steel look at that i just put it on the uh, saw I need eight pieces of this. 
What is that? So it says on in entrepreneur, like I pulled that off of here, and that's on the thing. It's a, there's like a picture, and it says entrepreneur balancer, entrepreneur balancer. Yeah, you guys can see this. So this thing right here is this tube. So this tube I'm gonna pluck off and I'm gonna shove it in here because that's where it goes. That's its little happy hole. And it clicks in nicely. Um, and then this other thing, this spring thing, goes on the box because it says so. So I'm gonna stick that on there. It's <laughs> So this this square goes on that square. Except this has rough edges that are trim. They are not perfect. Okay, let's try that. Perfect. Okay. So the Springer piece is on there now. Mm -hmm. This is a good thing. It's done. This yes. is it's like a lollipop for a new one. What? The tube. This is a four millimeter tube. Oh, that's two. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't want to go all the way through. Of course it doesn't. Mm. Of course it's very delicate because it's plastic. Mark, this is stupid. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get this... this Hub inside the other thing? Yes. But can you do one at a time? Yes, I was supposed to do that. And you didn't know. Um, well, you, you might want to use the fork like to, to pull that off without breaking it. Like maybe a fork. Which is a good one. Maybe it's a good one. Because you just can make a better one. I got it. You got it? Maybe. There's like a way to do this. Okay. That's out. Why? 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 That's why. There's a reason. Where the hell is my, my grinder? This is my reamer. It's my favorite tool. Like, if you have a hole that doesn't want to obey you, you can grind it out. It's my hole grinder. Mark's like, I know all about that. Mm -hmm. 
know what she's talking about. Crazy woman. Crazy. It takes a woman's touch. Yeah? Okay, I'm still trying to get this copper pipe through this balancing wheel. See, in my mind, this was all going to kind of like just click together, kind of like when I made that uh, little Martian rover from uh, Japan, because that thing was made really well. So all I had to do was literally kind of just put the parts where they needed to go. And like within a couple of hours, I was done and the thing was assembled and I was gold. But this is not the same sort of circumstance because all these parts are 3D printed and not exactly fitting like. Which makes my little heart sad. It's a very little. You can do it, Raptor. Maybe I can't. This is just shitty. Oh. It gets that far, but no further. If only I had a Tony here to press fist this. Press, press fist? Press fist Whoa. this. Part in here for me. Press this. That's dirty. He does the press fisting. Man, I'm ready for a popsicle. Yeah, there's like, you probably can't see this, but there's a bunch of burrs in there that I'm trying to clean out with the deburring tool. The anti-bone. <laughs> I don't want to use too much force because it's usually bad. It does not want to go. Man, I thought this was gonna wham bam thank you ma'am together. I got all excited. I was like, noodle, today you're gonna have a new toy, and now I'm just like, fuck it, I want beer. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to try and get? No, I know what I'm gonna do. I have a sovereign there. What am I doing? something very impatiently off camera. Don't mm -hmm. mind me. So it just can barely make it past the lip that it's supposed to to thread this piece on, which is the picture that you're looking at right now. I'm trying to make this. Um, yeah, a Rondo 3D. What's that? So that goes on there before the spiral belt. Shh. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna use the, the soldering iron to just like, like clean out the crap that's in there because it won't deeper in a way that is like productive for me. Oh man, let me look at the chat.
I could use... That's a good point. Dave mentioned I could use small screws as, like, the weighing pieces instead of the pipe. I could do that. I might just try that. The copper would look super nice, though, if it was all kind of a uniform look. All right, I'm gonna go put some heat in this hole. This is shit. I'm very dissatisfied with this hole right now. And it is the same hole. Or not. Yeah, that was totally a drama. Really? Ha, there we go. I defeated the burrs. That is good. Ha! <laughs> Success! Okay, so that thing's on it. Rondell 30. Where are my Rondells? Hmm. Uh. 
I don't know. Rondo Thirty. Rondo Thirty. Are any of you crazy for Rondo Thirty? I can look up. What does Rondo Thirty look like? Files. Rondo Thirty is. Who is that? Ah, that's you. That's this piece. So that goes on next. I find a drill bit and a disembodied drill chunk is the best way to do this. Yes, I just use my Dremel. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. There's something stuck in there. It was probably a 3D printing process and perfection inside of the tube that just needed to be cleared out. And I happened to keep a 3 millimeter screw, like, perma chucked into my Dremel, so that just sort of kind of did the job. It dislodged whatever was in there and made the pipe slide through, and it didn't seem to have compromised the uh, tight fit of the thing. <laughs> the, the tight tube fit. <laughs> okay, so this this Rondell 30 piece seems to go here. Flush to the uh, whatever that is. Oh, that's where the square is. Okay, so where did I put the square? Where did the square tube thing go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's square tube... again. So the square tube with the little spring thing... Let's just take the spring thing off for now. If I can. Okay, so this square tube goes inside of the tube maybe okay we're not doing this again I'm gonna just hit this thing with the spinning spinner dremel real quick hang on Okay. No. Dear God. We need a table in here. Come on, I know you want to. I know you want to. Let's try that again. Mark! This is all shit. Yeah. There's nothing wants to fit. Huh. Alright. What are you? I'm just trying to shove tubes on other tubes. Mm -hmm. Is that a plastic tube? Is that a thing you print it? Yes, it? it's just... Did it break anything, or is it just a square? It's just a square oh, yeah, on I want a good snug fit, though. Okay. You might try the vice. Mm, it's just shitty. Is it not? You might have to drill that out a little. Yeah, I need to drill that. Just, yeah, the small size. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's all crap. Hi! Sorry about that. This isn't as, like, lubricated as the last thing I assembled.
The last thing I made on camera just sort of worked. Like, it fits up to a point, but it's like the last two millimeters. Like, I don't know if that's closest to the print bed or not. Huh. I have like oh, a lip in there. Pages, yeah. Stupid square. Yay. Okay, it's on. This thing's on, maybe. Great, now I have to fit a square printed part through another square printed part. Is this what watchmakers do? Really? If this is what their existence consists of. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it. Can't wait to get home and tell the significant other how much fun they had making a watch today. Ha! It's on. Ha ha ha! Look at you. Walk <laughs> yeah. Clock Raptor. It clicks in the clicking. In the clicking. In. That's whatever. It's on there. Okay, so now this gray piece goes on that white piece. If it decides to. Like, if it wants to, it has free will at this point. It's like, it has to. There, okay, it's on. Okay, so the gray piece goes over the. I just made this that you're looking at. This is the, uh, the, the middle assembly thing. God. Check it out. Noodle says this is time candy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna close this image and I'm going to look at the next image. Okay, so this, this is still the thing that goes inside of this thing. So this... What are you guys looking at right now? Okay, so this... Now that I've finished this... Um, it goes inside of this housing here, and I have a picture that kind of shows how that's supposed to go. So. Actually, I don't know if I have hardware that's the correct size for this. I'm going to say this is 3mm. I hope it's 3mm. Oh, God. Ooh, bad. Screw. Um... So this thing goes there. No. He broke map. Is he okay? Is he okay? I'm over. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I kind of was. I've been great. 
Okay, so I'm screwing the holes with, I guess this is 3mm hardware. Apparently it is, because otherwise this wouldn't be working so nicely right now. I lucked out. I just like arbitrarily picked some hardware from my stuff. Ah, oh, but that's not long enough. Hmm. Garbage. Do you have any, <laughs> oh, do you have any, um, 3mm flat head? Um, like the flat countersunk head that's larger than 10 millimeters. You mean a flat, like a triangle like, head? Yeah. Can you use some black ones that we want to do? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't have any M3 stuff. Okay. This one you had a little bit of that. I've got, I don't think I have anything in Is there something there or Yes. Dar. He was going to donate some leg screws to this project. I don't think mommy has any leg screws to take from me oh. that are longer than 10. Yeah, they're all, they're all 10. All these are 10. It max. That's okay. Looks like we're going to McFadden now. McFadden Dale. That means this one needs time to be. Shit. Close but not quite. Don't you love it when that happens? Okay. Maybe this one needs? No, oh, it's definitely more than I tend to. What is with this guy? He wants me to use some long ass screws to adhere all of these parts together. Maybe it's less. Let's just try it. Just for grins. Then part of, part of this can actually be like attached. That's a negative. I don't think it matters for these. I think I can get away with using a 12 knot flathead. I can just use like a chunk right. chunk nut. Chunk nuts. Chunk nuts. Hmm. All right. Which means I need my other screw. Scram. 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 No. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Um. All right. I, I'm going to use normal screws. These are 16s. They should be long enough. Because it looks like I've got some like pocket pocket to hide the head of the screw in with this part. That's a satisfying noise. It's the sound of something dying. Some plastic part will never be the same again. Perfect. Okay. I wonder if I can get away with doing the same thing on the other side? Oh god. Doesn't look like it. I think those are flathead holes for a reason. Unfortunately. Oh, that just cracked the part. Oh, Which part? The cracked what? The no hole mounting part. Mm. No. Yeah. 
What in the actual? Is that like not supposed to go there? I'm like really legitimately confused right now. Okay, so I've cracked one part. Do I get a whole pizza if I like succeeded this? What about this hole? Does the screw fit in this hole? Where does the screw hole go? It's like a game. Is that going in? Am I forcing it? I can't really tell. It's still turning, so that's good. So somewhere in another country, there's like a whole stratus of people that make watches. And they, they really like doing what I'm doing right now. And they don't suck at it. Not that I'm making a watch, but like this, this suffering over technicality sort of thing. They probably really like doing that. That shouldn't take that much force. So I'm gonna say probably not the right hardware. Maybe. Yeah, probably not. What goes in this hole? Like... Like, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to, like, grip into the meat of the plastic and then hold it in, but it's still pretty tight for that. So is this other one. Like, I don't even budge. 
And I already cracked this part, so I have to reprint this, which kind of sucks. And I was using what I assumed was also the correct size, but there's like barely any meat there on either side of these screw holes to for the screw body to clear through and like give it support. So like, look at that. Everything down here. It's really thin. There's like barely any meat on the side of those screws. The side of the, the part that cracked. Where the screws are. The thing on the inside is cracked in half. Oh, this, this plate? Yes. It cracked in half. Uh, is it just a spacer? Or it's... No, it connected to this and it cracked. But there's no, it's like a really flimsy, like one millimeter wall of. Well, there's a metal piece. Hmm. Well, it, so if you try to put it together, it will close around. So the holes, the holes for the screws are too small. So if you go into the CAD mm -hmm. and make those holes bigger, then once it screws down, you're probably going to be fine. And you might add a little bit of a... Uh, because I think you can modify these parts in CAD. Yeah, if you bring them in as STL or whatever. And you can bring the flare this out a little bit and give it a little more support. Hmm. So I guess they, they, he made it so you thread these and you don't really have the, like you're gonna crack it by threading that. You can't print this up in a different, Maybe it just cracks something else. Hi, AP Tech. Yeah, it's the uh... AP Tech says hi. You might be able to get nets in there. Right? So make those holes bigger. We paint the piece and then make the holes bigger. So that they'll clear up in three screws. And then once the nuts are in, it'll clamp down, you should be fine. I don't like things anymore. Okay. Okay, so this is where it cracked right here. How are you guys looking at? So right here, that's sheared because uh, the wall on either side of the screw is pretty small. And the screw hole was smaller than the actual screw itself. So once I tried to like clear through that with like a three millimeter piece of hardware, I just sheared it like right in half. So you can see that that happened right there it's just sort of stuck <laughs> yay uh so i have to reprint that part um and probably widen the holes or do something uh that's what that satisfying cracking noise was mm. Mm.
Like I said, it's a piece of plastic that will never be the same. And then I just drilled out these things a little bit where these, there's a piece of hardware that's supposed to go through there. I widened it out a little bit, hopefully, so that it will take, because it wasn't before. It was just kind of like getting stuck in a lot of way. That's going a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It's not fighting me, which is good. Ah, Damien, you're making a Torbillion too. It's challenging. It's a challenging thing. Okay, so these whole these things need to be zoomed out a little bit now. This is my learning to do them. It's my practice to do them. <sighs> okay. All right. We're gonna do this. It's gonna work. I'm gonna make it work with the sheer power of Raptor. I mean, I got this done at least. Ooh, it's at the top. Oh my god. Okay. Um, keep going. You can do this. I'm bad at things. Mark, I'm bad at things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Eights. It doesn't matter. This is a practice for doing. I'm gonna keep saying this to make myself feel better about kind of like failing at all of these sorts. <laughs> Let's try this. Of course, it has a completely different size of screw. Is it this screw? That would be. Okay. These seem to be fine. Okay, so that's the right depth of screw. There. No more cracking. Hopefully. Okay, so that part's where it ought to be. And this one goes here. Oh, 
Okay. So once I reprint this part for here, and it's not all floppy loppy, and I have the right size screws for this other side right here, for these things, uh, this is what this assembly is going to look like. And I think this is the, uh, the innermost gyro piece um, that houses this guy right here. And I think this, like my picture showed, um, so this thing with the spring, like this. So this little piece right here, the tongue of the spring do, um, is held in place right here. There's like these two little like fork finger nubs that like are sticking up like this and those hold that little tongue piece. It's actually kind of a good thing that this isn't like fully together yet. I'm so glad I'm not a watchmaker. I'm so bad at it. So bad at it. Da, 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 da. I think my stripper name is going to be Spinny Pipet. So this is supposed to go through the bearings. So this tongue piece what did I break now? Sticky to the This is awful. <laughs> this is clearly one of the worst thing like ideas I've ever had. Ever. I was like, this will be a fun weekend project for the whole family. Yeah, it's not. This is not a fun, fun project for anything. Now that's just stuck. There, that's what I needed. Perfect. 
No one likes a runny, whatever that is. A runny cliquette? Mark, nobody likes a runny cliquette. Okay, so these little fork fingers need to hold on to the spring right there. But, but those are also too small. Of course they are. Of course they're fucking too small. Who designed this? Oh, and I just broke that part too. Uh, how many parts can Sarah break? Okay, so I'm trying to sh shove this spring wire thing into this like crack but it's the curve, like the, the 3D printed curve on the crack is like huge. So there's like barely any channel width to fit this piece through, but I'm trying anyway, like by gosh. Like I can kind of get it on, but not, not really, like not the way the part was intended to go on here. And I just broke one side trying to like maybe clear it out a little bit with the blade of my nippers because uh since it since the channel like 3d printed vertically it's like structurally weak in between the 3d printed layers so like i'm gonna probably break this other one too trying to get the spring thing on it to show you what i'm doing um i mean i have to reprint this part anyway because i broke the other half of it but i'm just trying to like assemble some of this so that I uh, feel like I'm understanding something maybe so this this has to be this, this has to be stationary here so this when you pull it it does that mark do you see that okay so when you when you oh man Oh, okay. this one. Yes. Right. So that's the tipper back and forth. This is the spring, the okay. spring thing right. that it's doing. Okay, so that that does. Do you see this? Do you all see what I see? Okay. So I'm gonna do that again. Yeah. 
So that just, that does this. Yeah, that's what this, this whole piece does. And then this is supposed to go here. This is miserable. Okay, so this all needs to be. Okay. This is horrible. Who invented this game? Okay, so this this has to go in between here, like pretty centered and stuff. And then this fucker is not on all the way because the hole's too small, and there's nothing I can do about it without breaking it. Um so this needs to be centered. But it's kind of hard to move back and forth because it's on a pipe, and the pipe's kind of stubborn. Okay, that, that's kind of good. Okay, so these are on here. That's centered in between this like, butt cheek thing. Now it's not wanting to move again. Okay, there we go. So that's what this thing does. Why is there so much extra pipe on the inside? This is hell. <laughs> oh my god. Tony would be laughing. He'd be like, silly raptor wants to make mechanical device. This is supposed to be this thing. I've made one of the assemblies. My mom's calling me. No, not right now. I can't handle it right now. This goes in here. This is hell. Mark. I don't even know if I want to bother cutting this out right now. How's the chat coming along? Oh, this has been on my list. Oh, I made a few clocks using conventional mill and lathe. Wow, those are real fancy then. They use real shop equipment. <laughs> Sometimes I got lost in the I just walk over to the snack bits and give them on. I sent you a screenshot of what your version of the ROM. Ooh, cool. I can't wait to see that. Bye. That's exciting. Like, I cannot wait to play with the badge, and everyone's badge, the tweeters. Oh, thank you, Damien. I, I try. <laughs> Sometimes fail. It says, watch me when you build it around the gear and don't try to fit the gear in it. Mm. Floppy loppy. By the time it finished, it would be a strongest person. Don't drink and drill. Mm -hmm. Don't drink and mill. Don't don't drink and draw. There's a bunch of things you aren't supposed to drink and do at the same time. I don't know. Am I gonna keep cutting this thing out? What do you think, Mark? Mm -hmm. I kind of hate it. 
It reminds me of like when you try to get something out of that blister packaging that shit is like popularly wrapped in and it's like sharp and it hurts you. <laughs> it's like they slit your own wrist. Yes, like that's kind of what this reminds me of right now. It's like sharp and unpleasant. And it doesn't like pop off as easily as I thought it would. Cause yeah, in my head, like before I started doing this stream, I was like, yeah, I thought I would just kind of crack these bits off fairly simply, but they don't. Not without a fight. Yeah, let's use this. And I don't want to. I don't want to be too rough with it because I don't want to break the actual part. So I've already broke a bunch of the parts of this assembly already without being un like rough ruffian to them. Oh my god. This is awful. I mean, I'm sure that the person who designed this did an exceptional, like, job at all of it. It's just when you 3D print parts, you can never plan for the inconsistencies of some of Oh yeah, every printer's printer. slightly different. And so, so you just gotta kind of... And like, the, our, I mean, the printer I use is like, exceptional too, so it's like, they the parts turned out really nice, but the tolerances are still weird on a couple things. So I'm thinking... Some of these parts are going to be like my learning shapes, yeah. and I'm going to have to modify certain ones. Looks like at work when I print the things that are like 10 inches long, they're off by a millimeter. What? Like the whole piece is scaled. Wow. So I have to remember in the tool to go to in go and, and, it. Yeah, and scale it. That's a lot. But I could, there's probably a menu on, on it that I can go in and recalibrate it, but it's like, yeah. Uh. Put the other side out and pull the whole metal out of the room. Put that in there and put that out. With scissors, you can put a whole bunch of chop. No, mm -hmm. it's not that easy. It's a good scissors. Oh, Scream at it and throw it? Yeah, do you think I should? Yeah. I think I should. Scram and throw. Well, I thought of a funny thing, a parody thing that would be funny. Is do, um, you know how Cirque du Soleil has the weird sounding shows? What? what? You know how Cirque du Soleil names their shows like really weird, odd spelling? Oh. The ka, or like. It's French, Mark. Mysterio. Well, no, a lot of those words aren't are made up words, right? Oh. So I want to do a poster for a Cirque du Soleil called Scrim. It's K R E M. Yeah, and it's, and just it's like and it's the bird. He's like, it's the graphic of a bird that's yes. screaming. Yes. And the implication is that there's this show, called Cirque Scrum. show. You can go, and it's just people Raptor. in costumes screaming like raptors for like two hours. That's my Cirque show. Yes. It's just <laughs> so me. You should do, it's me in like a, so a morph suit running around. Mimic their style and do a poster called Scrim. <laughs> So Du Soleil presents Scrim. I need to borrow a morph suit <laughs> and then put that up on like one of the big LCD screens exactly. during DEF CON. Like hack it and then put that up there for like at the win. It says exactly. Scrim. Scrim. And there's like me and my raptor mask with like a red morph suit on and I'm, I'm like perched. Tickets starting at ah. Yes. Discount for locals. Exactly. Oh, I saw on my Twitter today somebody named Ah is following me. Oh, really? Yes. You have a bird. It's like 10 A's in a row. Bird. It's like, oh, God. You have a bird. Bird. Oh, man. This is. This looks like awful. Look at that. This is like shrapnel. Yep. It's a pretty pretty that thick. Yeah. Like, they didn't do single layer because then it would just fall away. No, it's, it's, I thought so too. I thought I was yeah. just going to be able to snap this off with my thumb. And it's like on there. Like it does not want to come off without a fight. 
And there's tricks you can do when they build it to make it have really light attachment. Yeah. You put a slight gap there and the anti turf will actually still touch. But it's like they didn't do that. They didn't do it. So I'm here. That person doesn't have as much experience. The, the French person? <laughs> yes. You want to just take the scissor up the side? No. Yeah. It's gonna harm no. it. It's gonna harm the part. And what? Oh. Stand by my man. Don't wanna be stand by. They're over there on the desk right next to me. Oh, that? No, Chop you're going to break. Just cut right up the middle of that. And then it'll all fall away. No, it won't. Trust me. No, it won't. If you go right up the middle of that thin area. And then break away on either side. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do that No, no, no but you're struggling against the... So get the core chopped out and then chop away in the, the edges. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my sure. mouth? Just let it happen, honey. Shh. Here, scissors. Fine, fine. Those are gonna it's gonna break everything. I don't know. Give me that. I'll print you another one. No! Here, this this was a ten hour print. You need to go. not right up there. No. You can do it. No. This took like forever. No. No. Please. No. Mark. Brute, brute, brute. You can't just split its pelvis. I tried to do that with the screws and I destroyed that other piece. You're beefy. You're beefy. Huh. What? I'll go back to my other room. No. 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 Silence of the Raptor? No. Okay, that's one. Mark watched John Wick last night. It was pretty good. He liked it. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. I like Love and Death. You guys made it sound like it was like the body count of Taken, and that's it was a little I bit. haven't seen Taken, so that No, but it was like, oh my god, who's the star? Like, that, that movie was tame. Now, the killing is good. It was well filmed. Killing is good? There's a good couple of scenes that made me go, well. <laughs> Did you read by Gray's message? Which one? He, about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I gotta check Twitter. Okay, he, he said he's into a punch. So. Oh, he is? Yeah, I mean, like your assistance with that. What does it say? He said, pressure Let's you see. into getting started. Look at the Twitter DM I sent. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, you ignore me. I'm busy. You're busy screaming? Ripping, ripping crackers off of here. I'm gonna put this down so you can all see how beautiful it is. I'm not gonna answer the call. 
called the Vi Tweeter. That is amazing. Oh my god. I'm just like gonna spam the fucking heart button a million times. Here it goes. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I will show you guys what I mean as soon as I have it in my physical person. Mark, look. Yeah. Look. It's it's the best. Look. You know what I mean? It's really bad. It's a display on the badge? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's the needle. Can you get graphic? Can you do graphic? Yeah, there's a little needle. Is there a needle feet? Oh, okay. It's a needle. It's oh, a needle. Okay. It's a mushroom needle. He's okay. He's got a face. He's like... That's pretty cool. He's ready. It's in the colors that I picked out. I picked oh. out pink and minty. There you go. Minty pink. That looks great. He's going to the bag. You said judgment day is coming. <laughs> Noodle says that yes. that he will be protected and saved when the robots overthrow. Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm totally, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post the screenshot. Oh, wait. I'm top if I scrolled up. This is awesome. This is the awesome cartridge badge. Oh god. I have so many here. It's gonna take me a minute to like sift through all the layers of crap. On my desktop. Uh, is that you? That's you. There you go. Will it let me? Oh, it won't let me do it. Or will it? Oh, no. Shit. I broke the chat again. Crap. Here, I'll share it in Discord. Cause yeah, I just broke the 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 thing again. Shit. The chat. I made it go away. That's bad. Well, on my screen. Oh, you can't get it back. Um. No, I got it back. It's just I'm making my life miserable. Can I put pictures in the YouTube thing? I guess it doesn't matter, because I can just show you guys with the thing, because I'm streaming. So let me just format it so that it doesn't look stupid. Here. I need OBS. I have way too many windows open, I apologize. I look retarded. Here. There. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, there we go. This is the little screen. It's the colors that I- I was given a range of colors to choose from, and of the variety that was available, I chose the very- the unconventional, uh, you know, uh, puke, mauve, and mint variety, which is way cooler than the, uh, black and matrix green aesthetic. I think this is far more hacker pants in, in my- Personal yeah. opinion, don't you think, Mark? Yes. Like your slacks. It says, you know those like pastel chalk candies? Taka Kago shorts. Or, you know those pastel chalk candies? They're like, like. For Valentine's? No, there's like solid, like minty, like chalk, gross candies. Oh, that, like Elpoid. Kind of, yeah. Chalky. 
Yeah. But there's like pink and colored ones that you can get in a bag. Oh yeah, I've seen the, yeah the after dinner candy. Yeah, chalk for your mouth. Gross. After yeah. dinner chalk. Hmm. Mm. That's not what I want either. What do I want? I want this there. Huh. Mm. Okay. No. Ah, okay, I made this. And I was chopping. I'm almost there. I'm like almost done freeing most of this garbage. What is this holding on to? Oh, that. Okay, I'm almost done cutting it free. Damn. I guess I could make it bigger. Ah. I'm bad at everything. Overly distracted? Here. There. Okay. So if I go, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I would say it's like beer o'clock, however, I'm still mildly hungover from last night. We drank so much beer, that delicious watermelon beer. Yeah. It still sounds good, like as not okay as my body is with that beer, like I still want it, because it's so good. Uh, the aftertaste is like off, it's good, but it's off putting enough that I crave actual beer taste now. Uh, I miss it. I love it, I love it. Ah. Like my body is telling me to just lay down and go back to bed. Okay. Click it. There. This is what I should have done, but I didn't do because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing right now. Here. This is the amazing screen. I'm gonna leave that there. I love the noodle icon. Like that, that has made my day on a level that, like noodle, noodle is like the happiest noodle right now. And yes, I'll do with that is. What am I going to do with those? I kind of screwed them up. Like the eyes were supposed to be transparent, like through the uh, fiberglass so that I could backlight, like put LEDs on the ba back of the board and have them shine through the fiberglass and like glow but they didn't cut that out that layer so there's copper there now and I, I'm like fucked so I don't know what I'm gonna do Mark what would you do would you just like spring him Scream at it? Yes, scream at it too. So. Ah! No. Yes. Okay. There, I'm gonna leave that there. It's far more important than any any image of any sub-assembly that I'm going to fail to make today and probably break. I just can't wait to show Tony how I fucked this up. Still pity me? Yeah. Oh, this thing is sharpened. It's like trying to free a toy that you really want to play with out of blister packaging, which or technology or something. You get that packaging and then you don't have scissors, right? Yeah. Or you can't find the scissors, but you really want to play with your toy. So you just sort of like rip through it with brute force. Because you're a kid and you kind of don't care if it just cuts you all over. Who's done that? Like, I know I'm not the only, ow, only person who's uh, ripped through blister packaging just to like get to the prize inside.
There, I got the Christmas tree out. Look, it's free. Whoa, that's art. It's an art tree, not part of the watch. Okay. Uh, hmm. Just use a Dremel or something next time. Yeah, just cut it, like actually cut it with a little Dremel wheel thing. That probably would have been way easier, right? I can still do that. Should I? Or they'll just melt it. I feel like I'm cracking a very complicated lobster. To get the meat out. Excuse me. You're complicated. Vomit mob. Soothing shade of vomit mob. It's just on my screen right now. It's like glowing pink. Hungover making a turbulent. Wake up the morning after French Toast Friday and just scream at shapes. I mean, I made this thing at least. Yeah. Move Christmas tree. You can stand right there. My genius. Spinny dingy. This is horrible. I mean, I've said that like 20 times, but like, like this is the least. Oh god. Mm -hmm. That was me yeah. launching shit. Your thing's moving on the other end of the room. So if I design this thing in CAD, It's just a puppy. I think I'm gonna play TF2 for like the rest of the day. Not sure. I won't do that because I have a classifier to prepare, right? Right? So I need to get that on the way. We'll get the classifier ready, and then we can upload that to Noodle's brain thing, and then it can crunch for the rest of the weekend. Or do you think, how long does it take with the new CPU? Or we haven't tried it with a new CPU, have we? 
Mark? Right, yeah. Have you tried a classifier yet with the new drive and the new CPU? Who did that thing? But we got the solid state drive in since then. It's all the same. Okay. Just more memory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, You're gonna rain now? Ugly faces at this shape. This is kind of exactly what I have the capacity to do right now. <laughs> so yeah. It kind of works out. So, yeah, we all drank a lot last night in the kiddie pool. Not like really intentionally it's not like we were hitting it really hard it was just like cumulatively over the period of the night it was like warm out we had refreshing beer and a keg of it so we just kept drinking it so like by about two in the morning when we were done watching like all the movies like we watched john wick one and two we were all kind of like in a happy place like I didn't realize, I didn't realize, I, I tried to play Splatoon afterwards and I didn't realize how like looped I was until I had the controller in my hand and I actually had to like do operate on a team. So I was doing salmon run and I was like not able to salmon. I was a defunct salmon murderer. It's like not a good game to play when you have slow reflexes. Or your reaction time is like faulty. Alright, I'm almost done. Kind of. I'm gonna have to clean it up. But it's getting there. Ish. Now it's just really sharp and angry. Like, if you threw this at somebody, and it hit them, I think they'd die. Just... So this thing that I'm about to put a bearing in houses the next ring that this thing goes inside of. So it's like this goes inside of the other thing that goes inside of this. So I'm going to try to maybe finish all of the ring, ring assemblies. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. And then the all that's left is those gears, those red gears that are like off camera right now that I'm talking about, like you can see them. Um, all of these, I think, go in the base somewhere in this part. Uh, so that's like a different challenge in and of itself. Uh, it'd probably be easier for me to do the ones in the base first, since they don't involve confusing geometry and shapes that have like glass, plastic, shrapnel attached to them. But uh, this is the part that interests me. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it in. Maybe this one I just put in. Mm. 
so that burns and then so this thing goes in that thing so this thing goes inside of the that thing but i can't do that yet so i'm not gonna Man, this is awful okay so if i go back to chat If you didn't make up on this, I could probably do that. I'm afraid I'm going to gum it up. <laughs> I could just melt all this plastic off, but yeah, it will make smells. I mean, it is like PLA, so they're not the worst smells. It just kind of smells like burnt sugar, but um, still not good for you. And I've discussed this in the past. I'm pretty sure I have a PLA allergy. It makes my throat close up. That's why the printer isn't in this room anymore. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Outcast is the raptor. What was that? I heard something like a wind sound. We're getting there. Okay, so there's something weirdly satisfying about excavating this. As much as I'm like complaining about it right now. Again, like I said, this is all I really have the capacity to do today. But hit myself in the face with sharp flying plastic. In Illustrator, how do you take text that you typed in and make it like a perspective? You just transform it? You, trans you flatten it if you... You, you have to flatten it. Uh, no, you can go into effects, the filters. Right. I mean, you want it on your perspective grid, right? Yeah, I want to I don't work it, but I want to maybe change it. Because I don't know. That I do to me. Because I don't know how to use that to so Noodle is going to have a different pair of socks every day of his show this fall. Yeah? Good job. I will probably clean the edge up with the soldering iron, but only once there's only a tiny bit left. I'll like I'll just kind of run it over the edge of this to smooth it out, because it's a what? Mm -hmm. I'm having fun. Mark's making a video again. I'm dabbling. Mark's making a video game. It's going to take many years. He's making a video game. It's the future. Yeah, the beer that we have is really good. It's watermelon. It's a watermelon beer, and it is delicious. It, it is, is. It will murder you with its deliciousness because you can't stop drinking it. You'll just keep drinking it and drinking it and drinking it, and the next thing you know, you aren't able to play Splatoon because you had too much watermelon beer, and your team's like, what the hell?
Oh, good night, hog cat. Soothing pink color. It is like a nice, satisfying crack. It's like I'm I'm eating shellfish forever. And then there's this. That can just be the screen. Here. Mark, are we gonna go to Ikea and Lens again? Just um, for fun? Yeah, I just you know, do that. Mark and I went on this epic Ikea romp, Jean, in Austria last year to get mirrors and lighting and stuff from my exhibit. And there's like one bus at the bus station that you can get on and it takes you directly to Ikea. It's like the actual Ikea bus. But um, it was for like employees that, uh, I mean, you can take it as a normal person, but like we didn't realize that the bus dropped you off there before the store opened by like an hour. Yeah. So when we, we got there at like eight or nine or something in the morning. And then um, we, we didn't have anything to do. We were in the middle of nowhere, like Ikea land. So we went to the mall across the street and we found this like breakfast cafe thing that was open at the mall because all the other stores weren't open either and they had yeah. they had beer on tap. So Mark and I had a, a breakfast sandwich and a breakfast pint yeah. and waited for Ikea to open. Or no, we didn't eat because we were, we were going to eat at Ikea. So I think we just had a beer and then we went So out. after Ikea, I think we were waiting for the bus again we had lunch there. Okay. But in the morning but in the morning we just had a coffee and a oh, bag of okay. Danish or something like that. Right. I don't think we ate because remember we no, were. I think we just had the like coffee. That. Just chilled. Yeah, that was a nice nice time. It was an adventure. Yeah, we, we saw that they had beer, I think, and then we went back there afterwards and we were waiting for the bus. That was fun. And then once we got back into town we set up the exhibit for like the rest of the day night until like one in the morning remember right in our my green room thing that i totally didn't see the use for until we needed it and then it was like ah that was our little like private escape space What? Hmm. One of these days, I won't be doing this. Um. Mark and I, well Mark mostly, made really good chili verde yesterday. Yeah? yeah? Mark is the best cook in the world. He cooks the best food, especially Mexican food. Ow. Who cooks for all of us like starving pool monsters? Yep. We should watch The Matrix next time. Do like the original Matrix. Or fuck it, we can do all of them, even the bad ones. So I don't think I've seen that movie in like, it's gotta be like over 10 years since I've seen it. 
I like to watch the the, the Star Wars up, like the, all the episodes back to back. Oh God! Like it's not the same day. Phone. But I haven't seen the movie, the first three, the Jar Jar Binks one. I haven't seen them in forever. I haven't either. The bad ones. I don't think they were that bad. I like them. I thought there was campy shit in there, but like lately, every single movie has stuff I can complain about. So. Okay. Now I need a beer. Yeah? I'm still cutting this. What's the worst part of the job? The human. I think it's funny how like everyone who has a job where they have to deal with people, that's like the least favorite part of the job is the people dealing with part. So like in the future, we're going to come up with like all the creations possible to not have to actually interface with other human beings because that's like the most agonizing part of any anything that anyone has to do which is an interesting thing when you think about it right i think like the ideal state for most people is like a life where you don't have to actually pretend to care about what other people need or want right Google says it's raining. Oh no! The NAS hardware has a hard time handling color. That's a bummer. Well, I'll give you a special one version of the color you speak with Saturn going to have to stick with light gray on black or dark gray on white. Aww, that's a bummer. It's okay. It happens. You can make it whatever color you want that makes it happy and working and, and do. Yeah, working is more important than whether or not it's soothing vomit colors. But I tried. I tried. Pick a less hacker obvious color scheme for the little monitor. Oh god. Noodle, to answer your question, Damien is not able to move very much. He can walk, but not on his own. That's why I made him the papoose, because when I take him, I still have to pretty much carry him or set him down, but one of these days, one of these days, it will be time and it will happen, just like all the other stuff that he's learned how to do, but walking has just been like one of the hardest things to figure out and solve for. This year's all about vision. Okay, I think I'm going to smooth this out with a uh, soldering iron. As much as I love clipping tiny little pieces of sharp plastic off, I think I'm going to call this as clipped as it's going to get. I'm going to, uh, yeah, the melting is going to be 
the the rest of shaving all this off. So I'm pretty sure this has to be pretty like flush because there's this like spinning gate thing that goes inside of it. This this piece right here goes like in the cage and it's supposed to spin. Oh god. No. But if it can just go without me having to clean it up at all, then I'm totally okay with that too. Which it looks like it can. Ooh. Do I want to clean up all the crap? Mark? Wait, wait, wait. Do I want to clean all the crap up off of the thing? Or put it inside, yeah, or do I want to just leave it? You can scrape it with the back of a blade. I'm going to hurt myself. Or use the sanding disc on the dremel and just kind of brush the... Isn't that going to gum it up and, like, melt if the you plastic? Go, if you don't concentrate on an area, it won't heat up quick enough. It'll grind, but... What's that? Turbulent? Jeez, it is windy out there. It's windy. Oh. Billion. Oh, it's not even And then this, see this? Wait. Okay, so this, this goes in. Wait. Wait for it. And there's another axie. There's an axie inside of this axie. Yeah? Oh god. Okay, so this goes inside of this. Yeah? Mark? But, yeah. It's coming together. Okay, this, this actually worked though. Like this, like I have to fix that part that I broke. I have to reprint that and replace it real quick. But everything else, Mark, look. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Ah, uh, uh, I made the wiggler. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I like things coming together. The wiggler? The the wiggler. It's the French wiggler. <laughs> this is the French wiggler. Mm -hmm. It's a French wiggler. Was the person who invented the Turbillion Belgian, or were they Swiss? I don't remember. I just read this. I should check. Uh, now I'm curious. But you're right. It could be a French person. Well, no, if, it's, if they're from Belgium, don't they speak French there? Uh, I think it's a mix of French and German and Belgian. I thought they spoke French Because it's... Belgian. But then I don't I don't know if the guy's Swiss or not, because I mean he definitely speaks German. Uh, Swiss German. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. The person who designed this is from a French speaking place, because it's all in French. My understanding of all these parts is like French. I kinda have to get them done now, otherwise I'm gonna have nightmares about it. So this this goes nope that's not that 
that's this. So this thing, this thing, this gear right here, this red gear. Wait, can they even see what I'm doing? No. There. Okay. So this gear right here, the red one, seats on top of this thing, like that, and then it rotates around kind of like this. To the best of my knowledge. I don't know what mounts here yet on that hole. It's in the screw to me still. This is horrible. Use this words. It's pretty cool. So the internal assembly is done. Except for the part that I have to replace because I cracked it. I'm a heavy handed bitch. Um but this is this I can set aside. Um, this I'll probably clean up. There's a bunch of stuff that goes inside of this that I need to attach first before I embed it in here, as I so badly want to do for some reason. Okay, so now that that's freed, mostly, this isn't freed. Do not want us to have an easy time. The cat. I'm gonna be having nightmares about this in like eight hours. Wait, when do I go to bed? What time is it? Five? Never mind. Yeah, eight hours. I'm gonna be like laying down in bed and I'm gonna be thinking about separating plastic from plastic. Crap. You okay? Hmm. Just the code. No, no, no. Find your bugs. Bug. Write eight lines of code and fix ten bugs. Write eight more lines of code, fix twelve bugs. No. No. Yeah. No. Don't do that. You know. Noodle says don't hit the bugs.
Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break from this and play TF2 and have a beer, even though I probably shouldn't have a beer. Yeah. You can have a beer. There's your hangover with a beer. Mm -hmm. Is that how you do it? How professionals do it? Okay. Mine's gonna not be like this. Yeah? Whenever I make mine, I don't know. I don't know, but it's not gonna be like this. I'm gonna find some other way to not have to have bullshit like crazy amounts of support in this fashion. Kitty pet. Mine TK. Okay, that's good enough. Majority pet. Alright, I'm gonna sift through these pictures again and find the next. Uh, assembly picture of the thing that I'm doing. So now that these are free, I can actually put things inside of them. Um, spawn. Spawn noodle. You click it and noodle spawns. If you keep clicking it, more and more noodles will keep spawning mm -hmm. until like the whole room's filled up with noodles and you're like, oh god, what have I done? Okay, so that's a thing. This is a thing. There's a thing. Merrily, 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 merrily. So that's what goes on. Life is but a dream. No, no, no. Mm -hmm.
baguette. Two cups. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting into the tiny beans. This is like the critical part right here. Uh, no, I I printed it. I just didn't design it. To answer your question, Kyle, what? Do you want to post the link to it? Um, I can. I think it's in there. Okay, so this is the critical. I put this little hammer in here, and I don't have anything to like thread it through yet from the top, like there's supposed to be a really, really thin piece of something there, and I don't have it. Um, brut regal, brute regal, reglage, fuck, um, oh no. Oh, there's this little hammer in here that needs to be wedged in place, and this motion, like the motion of this twisty thing, is making the hammer go back and forth, which is gonna cause this sawtooth thing to, like, turn, and then this gear is gonna cause all the other stuff to turn, so this is, like, really important right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's three millimeter hole, but I don't know how long that needs to be, and I'm not, this is really small, I'm not sure how, what width diameter uh, pin I have to drop through that hole right there, but um, that's one of the spooky scaries. Here, can you see this a little better from this angle? There's the hammer. Is it moving? No. Okay. I'm going to put this back because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it yet. But that's basically where this thing goes. This sawtooth here is going to go right here. Alright, so I need to find the file that has that instruction. It's probably not a bad idea that I not do that, given that I think this one of these parts needs to be reprinted. This one, oh, actually no, that one doesn't, so I can go ahead and do that part because this piece, it didn't break. And then um, this is the one I need to reprint, and I need to modify it because some of those things don't fit the way that they ought to, which is bad. Okay.
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking through those photos. Thank you, Damien. Ignoring sleep and hungoverness is how you get good things done. Wait, M8? Mm -hmm. Oh, M3, 8 millimeters. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore that. I don't understand it. That's bad. It's a bad idea. What's a one? I know, but I don't know what, what it's yeah, pointing at. Right. I don't understand what it's pointing at. Hmm, what's this? Those are parts. That's this. That's what I'm looking at right now, but I don't need that yet. Ah. Oh god. Cat. What? Mm, this is not fun anymore. Okay, so it looks like this. That goes here. This whole thing goes here. It needs to be able to spin, doesn't it? Like this is all turned mm -hmm. mm, on. This goes
Oh. Yeah. No, I just realized what the fuck it does, how it works. It just happened. Like the, the brain thought. Just... Okay, so this spins this, which rides that rail, which turns the thing in the middle. How the fuck does this kind of gravity? It doesn't come out of gravity, it just balances it out. I was gonna say, I'm like, that doesn't. It just, it's a fancy thing. That's all. It's good marketing. That's good. Okay. Holistic watch. Hello. Badger pig? It's going well. I just now realized how this thing actually works. So now I, I know how this thing works. I get it. Mark. What? I get it. Okay. Here to get tough the battle. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, let's keep going through these pictures, shall we? Okay, so that ta-da, that ding moment just happened. Um, like I, I knew what how the thing spun, but I didn't understand where the motion was. Like the motion was transferring from one thing to another thing to another thing. I just wasn't quite sure the order of operations, and now I kind of clicked in my mind what gears are passing off the motion to what gears. Yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And. My mouth words. Okay. Yeah, but how long of pipe do I need for those portions? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. <laughs> it says M3 16s, which is exactly what I used. And it broke the part. You'd probably expect me to tap the plastic. The fills are a little small and then break it. So you either tap it and don't use nuts or use it. This is awful. I just keep I just keep saying that for like the rest of time. I'm just like this is the worst thing. So Ron okay, so with the on the other side of this is Rondell Pen. It's no matter, darling, where you are, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 
I'm trying to figure out what that wants me to do. that go? I'm so confused. This is terrifyingly confusing. I agree. I'm trying to make sense of it and it's not it's not sensing. Twelve. One point four millimeter. I need one point four millimeter rod or pipe. I do not think I have anything that small. You said I could use pins, like a one point four millimeter pin. Do they make those? Uh, one point four millimeter diameter pin. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to find something that's a roll pin of that diameter. You have to put calipers to the hardware store. Mm. None of these things that you have. You can use coat hanger, anything that's you find that's a wire and round and hits that, you can use it. Like copper wire, you have all kinds of copper wire. Mm -hmm. One of those is going to be close enough for you to get a laser. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck. Huh? Oh. Piston balancer. Ah, okay. Ooh. That's what that part does. Ooh. I don't know, I think I'm gonna take a break. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah? Something would snap. I don't know what it is. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, kids. This and this. Here. Which is attached to here. This is a nightmare. Okay. I need a break from staring at these pieces. I need to like figure out my plan of action given all these photographs that I'm looking at because they all omit just enough information that I can't just look at any one of them and do anything. Um. Like, I don't understand what this is trying to tell me. Um, could just do one of these. Who's there? So for free and that's a fail.
Let's let these go here. You can see what I'm... Yeah. You're right, Damien. It's difficult to look at the pictures and extrapolate what I'm supposed to achieve so that I can decide what order I'm supposed to do it in. So I'm going to have to really look at all the pictures, I think, and figure out what the next like, sensible thing is to do here, because I kind of see where everything's supposed to go but I don't understand how all the different parts relate to one another uh, confidently enough yet to like actually put them in their place. Um, I need to reprint that one part that I broke, so I'm probably going to go ahead and do that now. But um, I at least have the center assembly more or less finished. Um, I do need to run to Harbor Freight and get the spring steel that's meant to go in this like compartment down here. Um, before I finish permanently putting all these gears down in their main base. Um, and I do need to clean up all the nasty, disgusting burrs that I created while severing all the support material from these printed parts. So um, all of this right here, I'll probably go through and sand that off and try and clean these pieces up. Um, I don't know, I'll probably follow up with this uh, once I have a clear idea what what I what I should be doing. Like once I have a plan of action, I'll probably come back and stream finishing this up. Cause um I kind of have an idea where everything's supposed to go. I just I probably am gonna go ahead and cut all of my pipe pieces first and find all the pin sizes that I need. Cause um I don't know if I've got like, I might need to go run to McFadden or somewhere and find some things that I can make use of in order to finish this thing. Because some of the more delicate pieces, like these, these things, uh, whatever they are, that hole that goes through the center is like 1.4 millimeters, and I don't think I have any, anything, like wire or what have you, that will fit through there. So I'm going to have to hunt around and find some of the smaller parts that are required to do this, but um, I don't know, I'm gonna go have that beer and probably play some TF2 and like try to switch my brain off from doing this. Not that the beer will help, but uh, um, I don't know, I think what I, what I will do and not, well, what I will do not on camera, not streaming, is probably I'll study the pictures and I'll cut all of my pipe lengths and things that get threaded on pipe I'll probably go ahead and thread stuff like this onto the uh, pipe that's supposed to go through the holes because I foresee running into clearance like issues like I did earlier when skewering all the things with the piece that's on this um, that's really boring to watch, so I'll probably go and do all of that ahead of time. And, um, if I get to a point where I think things are coming together, I'll probably just stream the fruition of this, like, putting it together and seeing if it actually does stuff. Because, um, I foresee me completely failing to address certain things because of just not really having a firm grasp or comprehension of how this is supposed to work. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, like, oversight this first time, like, making this thing, because I, I, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never made anything watch-like before like this. Um, this is probably one of the more complex mechanical 
like gear related things I've ever attempted to put together. But um, I am confident I'll figure it out. It's just I need to keep staring at it and doing a little bit at a time and not breaking my parts. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reprint the piece I broke for this and probably finish this little assembly up before the end of the night. And then I'm going to put all this back over on my shelf next to me right here, and I'm going to switch gears. Because as I mentioned before, I need to get Noodle's uh, next um, classifier training. So I have to do that really monotonous process where I draw boxes around stuff and pictures again. And um, I need to get that finished so that the computer can sit and like train for a couple days. Because, um, yeah, it's getting to the point where that's going to need to be done here in the very near future, and like to a point where I feel comfortable with it. So, uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. But I'm going to go set people on fire in TF2. But um, I don't know if you've hung out for any duration of this like process where I'm like banging my face over the mechanism are just very furiously like chopping away at the parts that I needed to free from their like garbage cracker that was framing them in. Thank you. Um, it was nice hanging out with you. I always appre appreciate the company during the day when I'm doing whatever. I figured this would be an interesting thing to show the process of because it's like massively terrifyingly complex looking to me. I mean, I guess like some of you guys are watchmakers or have made watches, so you probably you're used to the the what goes into doing this, but it's this is very exotic to me still. So I'm having fun with it. But um yeah, as soon as I get this done and built and I have an idea of how it works, again, the end goal of doing any of this is to redesign a turbillion like thing that spins and clicks that would fit inside of Noodle. I think it doesn't have to fit inside of Noodle, but I figure since I'm making it, it's a really good opportunity to give him a nice audible feature that is interesting. Plus everything, everything mechanical has to go to Noodle, right? It's like his new foot. He gets new mecha feet. <sighs> TF2, yes. Yes. TF2 is the best. Ooh, 1.4 millimeter drill bit makes nice axes. I might do that. It's a good suggestion, Damien. If I can't find any like other thing in the lab right now that's 1.4 millimeters, I will probably just do that. So thank you for the suggestion. I probably wouldn't have and I'm really just thought of that on my own. Yes, it does hurt my meat computer, Damien. Yes, it's this is an interesting thing to wrap my head around. It's fun though, I don't know. It's like a puzzle, like this is so much more satisfying on some level than assembling this little... Uh, I put this guy together from, from Japan. I got this uh, rover kit and it was pretty straightforward. You just like pop the plastic parts off and like, like slap it together and there is a gearbox inside of this guy that um makes him move and go forward and his like little thing on the top here spins um which is cool and cute and everything but um everything just fit because it was injection molded plastic so i didn't have to worry about there being weird like variations and holes hole diameter that i'd have to ream out or parts i'd have to free entirely from their support material um meh. So this is like, this is a fun, fun thing. If anyone else decides to take a whack at this, like I guess before I log off, I can post the um, the link again one more time to the thing that I'm making. So if you feel so inclined to print print out these parts and give it a try yourself, um, please let me know how it goes. Cause um, oh, I already had this open. So I guess I can show this one last time here. 
So this is this is what it's gonna be. And I, I might just like sit and watch this for a good while to wrap my head around what it do. Okay, so that is captured in that. That's magic. So that's the thing. That's what it's gonna be. And here's the wing. So check that out. I think in the description of that video, you can go to Thingiverse and download the parts, and you will get all the same pictures that I've been looking at. Like they're also attached in like the folder that has all the files. So um, sorry. <coughs> I don't know. Until my next like session on this, like enjoy the rest of the weekend. Like enjoy Saturday and and chill, have a beer. It's oh wow, it's way past five o'clock. Um. I don't know, it's five o'clock hour, beer hour for me here in Vegas, so regardless of whatever time it is where you're from, I don't know, I toast you. I'm gonna like get my watermelon beer and cheers and I don't know, probably relax for the rest of the day. Cause yeah, my meat my meat computer is hurting still. And not from this. It's just hurting. I need to take more breaks. <laughs> Ah, all right. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys around. Take care and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Love. And I gotta find the off button buried underneath all of my stuff. Oh, you couldn't even see me. There. There I am. All right, I'll see you guys. Until, like, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a couple of days because I have other stuff to do, but um, I'll definitely come back and follow up and finish this, and I'll stream it because... I don't know. I want to show you guys what it looks like in its working or semi-working form. So, take care.